Remember we discussed two broad classes of routing algorithms, distance vector and link state. We now want to discuss link state algorithms and a representative algorithm for it, which is Dijkstra's shortest path algorithm. In link state class of algorithms, all of the nodes in the network have complete topology of the network and link cost information for each of the links in the network. Let's check how it is possible going through Dijkstra's algorithm shown in the pseudocode in this figure. The first part of the simple pseudocode is depicting the algorithm initialization. The second part is the main computation loop of the algorithm, finding the least cost paths. A quick note that d of n, as seen in the last line, is the cost of the least cost path of reaching node n from the source, the current node. The goal of the algorithm is to compute this value at each source node for all destination nodes n that exist within the network. At the beginning of the initialization section, we define a set m to keep the set of nodes that are examined by the algorithm. The initial value of this set is only the node S, which is the source or care node that examination starts from. Next, for each node of the network, except the current node or source node, if the node is adjacent to the source, the cost of reaching it is set to the direct link cost, otherwise to infinity. Basically, this step of the algorithm initializes a source to only have the direct link costs to neighbors. Next, we start at the main loop of the algorithm. N is the set of all nodes in the network, and M is the set of examined nodes. This loop will continue until all nodes in the network are examined. For each unexamined node W, if cost of reaching W is minimum, over all other unexamined nodes, we add W to the examined set. For this node W, we compute every other unexamined node N's least path cost dn by finding the minimum value of dn between the current value or by reaching n through W, which is dw plus cost of link from W to n. Note that this step is examined for every single unexamined node W. Means that going over this loop, we examine if we can minimize the path by reaching the node N through node W, breaking the pathfinding problem to be one link closer to the source. 